So in this video, we are going to find second largest element from an array. So let's say you have been given an array or a list and you are asked to get the second largest, fifth largest, fourth largest, seventh largest, something like that. Then this approach can be used. Now what's the approach? So the basically the approach is to sort the array in descending order and we have a skip method. So skip method, you know, that, that is going to skip and we can pass number of elements. So those elements will be skipped and we will be remained, you know, will be given with remaining element. And from that we'll be able to get the second largest, fifth largest and all. So let's say if we sort the elements in descending order and if we skip one, then we are remained with the second largest onwards till the smallest element. So we can, you know, find the first element and that will be the second largest element. So let's implement this. Let us create our class second largest element. Let us have main method and let us have like we have an integer array ARR is equal to let's say the elements are 3, 6, 9, 4 and 2. Okay. Now I want to convert this into a stream ARR and then now this will be an int stream and the individual elements are int. We need to box it so that they become integer, you know, integer class, right? Now here I can use sorted and in sorted, I want to sort the elements in descending order. So you can see here it, it was an int stream. Now it is a stream of integer. So that's why we are using box because on that only we will be able to do the sorting, you know, a comma b and I can use b minus a. Okay. So, you know, this lambda can be used only on the integer. Now after sorting, skip one and then find first element. So this is what we are planning to do here. Print it. Uh, let me store into a local variable before I can print. And this is returning the optional of something, right? So optional of integer. And this is our first. Let us print that. Uh, let us also call get method. Save it and run it. All right, so it's giving six because six is the second largest. What if nine is appearing twice? Then my program should give nine as the largest element, second largest element. Let's see, which is wrong, right? Nine is appearing, which is wrong because what is happening here is after this line, it is giving us nine comma nine comma six comma four comma two now we are skipping one element so it is picking this one as the find first so for that reason we need to put a distinct right so if we have distinct element then from the distinct element you know it will be doing the sorting and then it will skip one so our result will be correct so let us run it So we can see six, right? So this is how we will be able to get, let's say second largest or fourth largest or third largest, you know, let's say I want to get third largest. So I can use this. So I'm skipping three elements. So three becomes the fourth largest, right? Nine, six, four and three. This becomes the fourth largest element. Okay, so this is how we'll be able to get uh, any you know largest or any smallest element also. Because if we sort in a normal uh, you know ascending order, we will be able to get the smallest elements, right? 